sight in the game to see the boxing boys. Question. I gotta ask you, because Cotto and uh, Canelo are fighting real close to your weight. Right. What right. Do you think of that? I think they're both... Cotto's a great fighter. Canelo's on the way to being great. I just think Canelo might be a little bit too fresh for Cotto, but Cotto's still a great fighter. And sometimes great fighters can bring it back for one night when they have to dig down deep. And um, I'm I'm really, really excited. But I'm actually more excited about Lemieux and Triple G. That's what I'm excited about. I, I think that's going to be the barn burner of the year. Because one thing we do know is Triple G gets hit. He can punch, but he brings ass to get ass, and he gets hit a lot, and Lemieux can punch. So that's, that makes for a recipe for a good fight, and I think it's going to be fight of the year, and I, I don't think it's going past eight rounds. Anybody can get clipped in this fight. Do you, you think GGG is going to win this one, or do you think it's up in the air? I really think it's 50-50. But you know what, though? If I, had to, if, I had to, if I had to bet, I would bet on Triple G because I seen Lemieux get stopped by... Rubio, and then I seen him get beat by Joaquin Rossin a few fights before I beat him. And Joaquin, I, I, and Joaquin Rossin is a good fighter, but he should have beat Joaquin Rossin. And uh, I think Lemieux is one of those guys where if you could take his punch, then he's no more good. And finally, what is it like? Um, but that's the big if, though, because he's a big puncher. But go ahead. They're both, they're both, both huge, huge punches, huge punches like right. I'd never want to just get hit, hold mitts for him. Cause right. Like Deontay Wilder right. had three mitt men when he was holding mitts. Right. I just think about how crappy of a job that would be. Yeah, right. That dude, that dude's heavy-handed.